seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Agent Fire! Get down. Mother fuck. You were saying? Yeah. This world is stop anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see her point on that. Stay up here and give me cover of fire. Do whatever you can to destroy it. I'll send you when it's there. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Her voice is driving me fucking crazy. <laughs> we been there. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. It's clear. Warning. Deadly Come force out. is authorized. ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker. Security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility Alert. is in lockdown. Alert. Repeat. This is a level override. Alarm. ID 2007659. Override. Security, Security protocol building. Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time? Let me go in first. Hey, this time? We go in together. Warning. Deadly force is uh. Shit. Snipers up there on the roof. I see him. Alert. Alert. 911. There's more of them. I see him. One more time. Security personnel to the main. Sarah Irene building. Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Yeah. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly Jim, force wait. is authorized. That son of a bitch. Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Same here. Come on, let's try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. 
Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey, going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh yeah, you got one? Uh, well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. You mean you should be able Alert. to climb up from there? Alert. Listen, this I want you to go up there, alarm. lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Huh. Shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Alert. Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. Okay, go. Disable voice on, response. Said hands. All right, all right. Just, just tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean. We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know the ones you shot in the head. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> 
what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? <laughs> we just couldn't take the risk. <clears throat> Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. <sighs> Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. I've seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're... we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I classified don't know. project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. have stopped it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. Uh, hold, hold on for a second. Okay. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. That's 
so it's gotta be it. No, I just gotta jimmy that door. Got it. Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't, I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron my tone to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back, what, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good, listen up. Uh, D? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a... I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this... Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh... Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so, uh... 
Let's get moving. It's clear. Are you gonna come out and eat something? Soaking wet. Excuse me. I never thought I'd get warm again. Come in, Sarah. Oh, God damn it. Move along, buddy, move along. I used to wait tables at this little place and marrying forks. Go, go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew?
Corporal Deacon St. John. Hey, Sarge. How's life? Open up! Oh, the doc was... he was our... Corporal, stay safe out there. I got the gate. Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John to Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. The doc was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. And Corporal, the Colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah. Copy that. St. John out. St. John! Corporal St. John! Come in! I need you to report to me ASAP! Hey, Colonel. Uh, yes, sir. St. John out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Before the shit went down? talked about global conspiracy, most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's laughing now. We know this went worldwide. We saw God, it. Yeah. South America. What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys. An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to, quote, foster cooperation, unquote. <laughs> yeah, they fostered something. You know they picked the places that got hit first. But someone betrayed America. Don't think I'm giving the United Nations a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Could be. The UN is out there running just fine without us. And one of our former friends has a seat on the Security Council. Think about it. Nero's got a clear hand in this. But they need a lot of help to start war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Who knows, Cope, maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking up inside Cloverdale, in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack. Corporal St. John, report to me at the Diamond Lake Outpost. Captain. Yes, sir. An injector. Yeah, I don't have a good shit.
make something out of this. Open the gate. Corporal St. John, open up. Sergeant. Corporal. Deacon. Good. Thank you for reporting in so quickly. It sounded urgent, sir. It is. We have another hostage situation. Hostage? Damn, it seems like every squatter within a dozen miles has it in for us, or for the... Militia, you know, I mean... It does seem that way. I've marked his last known position on your map. He's just a kid, St. John. Private Ross. Ethan. I sent him to track down a group of marauders, and he must have gotten in over his head. Private Ross. I don't know him, but, uh, I'll get him out alive, Captain. Good luck, St. John. Dismissed. I hope this is high enough. Boozer, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? I can barely hear you. You're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. I thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no, Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just, I'm just sort of checking in, to see how, you know, how everything's going. Good, good, Deke. Things are going good. You will never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. Guess he figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. Okay, yeah, like I said, I just, I just wanted to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother.
deer crossing. Wow, that's not too smart, even without the traffic. An injector. Nero had all the good shit. Mm. Ow. Feeling stronger already. Come on. We have to move quickly. You sure it's out? Yeah, I'm sure. That was enough ketamine to knock out a dinosaur. If you don't go 2020, examine the specimen of the Ursus Americanus Mutants. Ranger Bear. That's what the drifters call them. Always good to know the local colloquialisms. Thank you. Or, you know, you could have killed it, so it's not a 